Hey world, how you doing? It's Tuesday, November 21st at 8 o'clock in the evening. Um, just showing you the weather first for the week, this week. What we're looking at in November in Southern California. <laughs> Got like 70s, 80s, and 90s. Remember these temperatures are in the shade. Um, anyhow, uh, this is the job. And uh, it's that one that I put a compressor in. Okay, world, how you doing? Hey, this is that unit I just put a compressor in. Just got a call today. The thing, uh, customer said it's squeaking and uh, warm. So, uh, all you've been that been doing this for a while know pretty much that squeaking means uh, probably condenser fan motor, and that's what I believe it is. I turned it on for a second, and uh, it doesn't. I don't feel any air blowing. I'm gonna pull. I gotta pull the unit out. But this is this unit that I did the compressor in. This unit's only like two years old. This unit's only like two years old. So that's why I didn't, I broke one of my rules, one of my golden rules. I always put, usually put a new condenser fan motor in when I do a compressor. And I'm never breaking that rule again. This motor, this, this fan motor uh, is only, this unit's only, like I said, only two years old. Uh, maybe going on, it was put in sometime like in 2015, like, April, May, or June of 2015. This is like November 2017. So that's just baloney. Anyways, unless I find something stuck in the blade, you know, then then that'll be different. But um, if this fan motor's already gone, it's only two years old. Man, this unit is a big old lemon. I'll tell you, nothing's lasting past two years. Look at this dead boss, man. Two years old. This thing has been trashed. Anyways. Uh, let you know. See what we see. Whenever you get a chance, always get rid of these freaking fan guards. All they do is clog up with dirt and just totally clog up the so that he can't get out yeah I always get rid of these guards unless you got a place that's got a lot of mice or something then you got to leave the thing but always try always get rid of these guards they're just the worst things ever Oh guys, this is the fan motor I just pulled out of here, out of this unit. Um, it's a 9 watt CW. Got one on my truck. I'm surprised this more uh, this Moral motor. This is a good motor. These are sweet. these are the motors I use. The Morals. It's only two years old, like I said, going on three. 9 watt, 115 volt motor, CW. Um, clockwise for those that don't know um, and I think maybe I know now why my head pressure was a little high on um, when I did the motor when I did the unit a month ago um, fan might have been going a little on the slow side so uh, yeah I'm never breaking my rule again always a new compressor gets a new condenser fan motor period um, anyhow uh, so uh, I plugged it in, took the two wires, plugged it into the outlet. I can't do it right now, but yeah, she goes slow, barely, you know, not turning very fast. So, the customer complaint was squeaking, so that's it. So, get changed out.
Okay, new motor going in. Cleaned her all up, cleaned up the blade. So always uh, mark your blades, scratch them like this when you before you when you take them off, so you know how they go back on, and you also make sure that they're going back on correctly that they were installed by whoever before correctly so this new motor going in it's another moral uh these are cast iron body the other one seems like aluminum body so i don't know but anyways these are the motors i use i pay twice the price of a china motor for these hopefully do a nice job you know but i'm all about trying to do nicest job I can within reason you know so all right let's put this thing back together I gotta blow this condenser out and see how we're doing I think it's that dirty yeah it's, uh, yeah but who knows how dirty it was it's been a month or two since I've been here so who knows if they it's got signs of maybe having a sweater on it I don't know okay uh, I'm gonna blow it out <coughs> hey world, how you doing? Okay, new motor's in. Old fan blade's a little bit bent. I straightened it as much as I could, but I don't like trying to straighten fan blades, so anyways. But, uh, did what I could, it's 10 o'clock at night, so you gotta do what you gotta do at 10 o'clock at night. So. Anyways, uh, wire tied it in. Right there. So let's hopefully it works. Okay, this is just showing 10:10 uh, 10, 10 p.m., which is the startup time for the unit. Uh, the unit uh, started 70 degrees inside the unit, uh, then 57 degrees, 48 degrees, and got down to 39 degrees in five minutes. So uh, working well. Also. Um, yeah, that bad condenser fan motor was the problem with the high head pressure. As you can see now, high head pressure is only 260. 
Uh, so started it up, you know, run it for a bit. Highest it ever got to was like 283. And when I did, when I replaced the compressor, 320, 324 to 330 range. So a uh, huge improvement, a uh, huge improvement. Well, that's the end of the job. Um, and finale. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Click like and subscribe if you could. Thank you. Bye.